Longmont. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. The Longmont Chamber has been working hard to support our local businesses and connect the community during this challenging time because we don't think that being physically distanced means that we can't still socially connect and support one another. So I'd like to tag in Jessica Wanasek, the Chamber Event Director, to tell you a little bit about what we've been up to. Hey everyone, so the Longmont Chamber of Commerce has been hosting daily Facebook Live events Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. over on our Chamber Facebook page. We are featuring a local business or a nonprofit while having fun interactive activities, giveaways, and just connecting with our community. We wanted to share the fun with you after the fact, so we are airing all of our episodes from last week with you here now so you can enjoy. And we hope that you see some familiar faces from around Longmont. And remember, if you ever want to see the live thing, just tune into the Chamber Facebook page at 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. Or check out a themed list of businesses over on our Chamber website. www.longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. And find a business that you would like to support. Enjoy the show! Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Karen Stallard. I'm the membership director with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. Nope, other hand. Nope. What hand is it? This hand. That <laughs> with the Longmont Area Chamber of Commerce. And you are witnessing history. And no, I'm not referring to the pandemic that is forcing us all to work from home right now, um, which we know is a really challenging time for a lot of businesses. But what you are witnessing right now is the Chamber's first ever Facebook Live virtual event supporting the fact that Longmont businesses are still open during this challenging time. So this is the first ever Mindfulness Monday, a Facebook Live event where we are promoting keeping yourself present and well taken care of during this challenging time, and also featuring some of the Longmont Chamber businesses that can help you do that. We have a list um, of all of the Chamber member businesses that fit into the Mindfulness Monday category um, available on our website, longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. Um, links will be put in the comments, so look for that where you can see the whole list. And also, my cat is also joining us. Never, never missing an opportunity to be on camera. What a ham, I tell you, takes one to know one. Um, so for the first ever Mindfulness Monday, we are actually going to feature a local Pilates studio, Club Pilates. Um, they've done some really amazing adjustments to their business model so far. So I'd like to bring in the owner of Club Pilates, Kelly Hendricks, uh, to join us for our very first ever live Mindfulness Monday. Hello! Hi. Hey, Karen. So good to see you. You too. A beautiful Hi. day. I know. Virtual <laughs> hug. Hello. <laughs> beautiful day on your patio. Oh, my God. I know. It's so great. So, yeah, just love Colorado. <laughs> Really, I know it's amazing. You missed my cat, he was here earlier, so that was fun. <laughs> good, good times. Okay, fun. Well, I have been working all day because it's four o'clock. So while I have the owner of a Pilates Pilates studio with us, why don't you coach me through not feeling like this all day? But I know, I know. I, I do that too. It's it's in all of us. Yes, let's if you're if you want to move, let's do it. I'm ready. Let's do it. I'm always ready to move. Always ready to move. All right. So you're in your, so you've been sitting all day. So we'll just start sitting okay. because that's where you are. Let's do a nice big inhale. Let's just get our breath moving through in our body. Nice big inhale. I like to close my eyes. You don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> it just makes me feel more relaxed. Trish nice. said hi to us. So hi, Trish. You can join us. Grab a seat. We're all just going to start off breathing. Yay. Okay, we're going to take a nice big inhale through the nose, fill up the lungs and your um, the rib cage out laterally, really fill that up, and then exhale, let it all come out in a nice long breath. Let's do that a couple more times. Before we do that, though, let's relax our jaw, relax our shoulders as much as we can, and when we take an inhale, try not to raise your shoulders up, try and keep them down. So take a nice big inhale, and exhale it out. Do that a couple more times. Ooh, I got really big there for a second. You could see my shoulders raising. 
Yes, make me small. Make me small. It's in all of us. I'll catch myself typing like this. So we just got to be mindful and let them go down our back. A nice big inhale. And exhale. Inhale all the goodness that's out there. And exhale any negativity or stress that you dealt with today. And again, nice big inhale. Feel that breath from head to toe. And then let it out. There's a little one. And now um, let's do a little stretch too to open up that body. So we're going to do a figure four stretch here in our chair. I want you to bring one leg up, ankle over your thigh. I want you to flex that foot that's over um, over your leg. And the other foot's going to be pressing into the ground. Really feel that energy of your foot from toe to heel pressing into the ground, giving you a great foundation. And all I want to do is our hands are going to go against our chair if that's available to you. Otherwise, you can keep your hands here. But I like to activate my triceps here as we're doing a stretch because why not do two things at once, right? Multitasking, <laughs> no game. So we're going to press our palms into the chair. And that's also going to help remind us to have a nice upright spine, right? So we're going to stay here. Just honor that position right now. And then take a nice big inhale. And exhale. I just want you to hinge forward. It doesn't have to be big to be effective. Press those hands into the chair. Smile. Mm -hmm. Smiling always makes the stress, stretch feel better. And you're just going to hinge forward. <laughs> And then since your feet have been just under your desk all day, rotate that foot that's up on that thigh that's bent and just rotate and in circles up and around. Get that blood flow going to your feet before we stand. Oh, yes. I know. <laughs> I'm glad I left yoga pants on the bottom. I definitely <laughs> did. This is not a full, full on suit. This is right. yoga pants this on the bottom. Party on the bottom. It's all good. <laughs> This is the lies that Zoom is letting us all learn. <laughs> We're going to take an inhale, sit up nice and tall. And exhale, can you get a little bit deeper into that stretch as you hang forward, hinge forward. And that should just feel good on your hips, the outer part of your thigh. And just opening that up. Set up nice and tall again. And we're going to switch legs. Why does doing nothing do so much? <laughs> like sitting all day. Why does that make your whole body just? I, I know. Like you feel tired and it's like you haven't. Yeah, I know. It's like a day of travel too. You are exhausted after a day of travel. And when right. you think about it, you just sat in a bunch right. of different places. Right. I think just the stress of, you know, going here and there too can take a toll on our body. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I still can't wait to travel again. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm with you. I say that. And then I'm like, man, I would love to be on a plane somewhere. First opportunity. And this you could do on a plane too, which is awesome. Yeah. Plane seat. I've done this before, like pelvic tilts and different stretches sitting. And I definitely get some looks, but I'm like, hey. I don't think I could figure four in the size of seats that they give you on airlines now. Maybe you, Kelly. More power to you. <laughs> hey, you don't know till you try. That's true. <laughs> That's true. So let's do um, a figure four stretch on the other side. Our palms are going to go, our arms are going to be nice and lengthened, palms pressing against the chair, and we're going to hinge forward. Feel that stretch here in that outer thigh, oh, that outer good. hip. It's just a small little movement, but it should feel so good. I feel like if anyone needs knives sharpened, just come on over here. My hip flexors can do the job. Come on by, free of charge. Oh, feels good. Nice big inhales. We sit upright. And exhale, let's hinge forward again. Maybe go a little bit deeper this time. Mm. Hold it there. Make sure you don't hold your breath. Make sure you breathe. Feel that breath. Go right into those hips. <laughs> Good reminder to breathe. Mm -hmm. Also paying no attention to the man behind the curtain. Look at the boss moment <laughs> over here. <laughs> oh, I love it. Our division of labor here at the house. And sit up tall. And I like that it's glittery too. That adds, adds I mean, so fun. Obviously. All right, let's plant both feet into the ground. You can't see my feet, but I'll just cue you through just what we're going to do with the feet before we stand. And take a nice big breath. I want you to press your palms again into the chair. I want you to activate those triceps. Really bring those shoulder blades down your back. Keep them there. And I want you to just do, we're going to warm up our feet before we use them in stance. So I just want you to do some calf raises. So I just want you to roll up to the toes of your feet and then release your foot all the way back down. 
So just do that a couple times on each side. I'm just doing one at a time. You can kind of see my thigh raise as I raise my toe up. And just get our foot. There's so many muscles and bones and ligaments in our feet. We really want to keep them, keep them moving. Yeah. And now I want you to bring your arms on in front of you. I want you to raise one foot up into that heel lift. And as you raise it, bring one arm out to the side and then exhale, lo lower the heel and bring the arm back to center. This and again, and the goal here is to keep all this stable, right? So we mm. want to disassociate this movement of the arm from the, from the rest of our body. Because we don't want to want to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, use these obliques to keep everything intact here. One of my favorite things, just moving an arm or a leg can make an exercise so much harder while trying to keep everything else stable. That's what I love about Pilates. The part that isn't moving sometimes is working harder than the moving part. So yeah. our now should be working pretty hard just to keep everything towards center. And already I could feel this in my, uh, apparently I'm getting a call. Multitasking. <laughs> Tell them to get on Facebook Live. Pick it up. And be like, hey. Well, I've been scared to do Pilates Live. <laughs> You're like, this life's going to happen. Oh, wait. Oh, you, can bring, you can bring your arms down, lower your feet, really feel them ground into the ground. And now we're really going to have some fun. And when a Pilates instructor says fun, that usually means you're getting into some <laughs> good pain. That means pain and burn. Fire. Press those hands together um, in a prayer position. Really press them together. Bring your shoulders up like they kind of were all day. And then relax them on down. Just so we can feel the difference of what it's like to live up here and what mm -hmm. it's like to live down here, right? And this is where we want to be because then we can use our back muscles to move our arms. So all that doesn't go into our shoulders, all that work. So let's just bring it up again and then bring it on down. Feel those shoulder blades glide up and down your back as you do this. My entire blazer moves. It's great. <laughs> Are there, it would be, it would be better if it was the 80s and had the shoulder pads oh. that it would be. <laughs> they have like slight pads. But like not football, not football player status. They're coming back. That's awesome. They are. <laughs> and then press those hands together. Really ground those feet into the ground, ready? Because we're going to stand up here. Mm -hmm. And really kind of think of that heel side of your foot as we press on up. Ooh. Don't get too comfortable because we're going to go right back down. Okay. I was like, oh, then oh you're going you're right no, back no longer up. using the chair. You are not touching the chair. Yes, you are. Maybe you are. Ready? We're going to go yeah. up and we're going to go down. Maybe you touch it. Maybe you don't. It's just there for kind of guidance. Keep a nice tall spine. Press those hands together. Use the energy within our entire body because you are strong and you are fierce. And I have shoulder pads. <laughs> Especially with shoulder pads. Hashtag strong. Hashtag fierce. Hashtag shoulder pads. Oh, that's awesome. Keep on going. Keep that blood flowing. You know whether or not I have shoulder pads, the answer is yes. Don't even need to ask. <laughs> okay, now I want you to hold it down. Hold your squat in about a halfway position. Squeeze those palms together. And I want you to lift one heel up, just oh. like we were earlier, and then lower it, and then lift your other heel up and lower oh, it. Kelly, why? I know, it feels so good though. Your body is thanking uh -huh. me for that blood flow going throughout. <laughs> Yep, yep, that's what we're doing. So keep on alternating those heel lifts. Try and see if you can keep your hips pretty stable here so they're not lifted, they're not hiking. We're not salsa dancing yet. We are just lifting our heels. Okay, if other people aren't doing this, I'm going to feel very alone. So get in on this burn action, y'all. Oh, join us. Okay, <laughs> down and now just pulse up and down. Like you're going to go sit, but it's a joke and you're not <laughs> should we sing an oompa loompa song right here <laughs> if you have the breath to do it yeah i don't the panting <laughs> is real i always try to do fun things with you kelly and then you do things like this but i keep coming back 
And then this happens. Okay, hold it down. Heels up, both heels up. Ah. And then lower. And then lift again. Bring your arms out to a T. Raise them up. And lower. (laughs) Raise them up. Oh, the blazer. Down and then stand back up. Now, I know. Shake it out. Shake it out. There's a chair right behind me. Why would I shake? No, okay. <laughs> shake it down. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna. It might make some noise, but I'm gonna raise. I'm gonna raise. Oh yeah, spacecraft desk. <laughs> Moving, up. Moving up in the world. All right. Yay! I know. It's okay. okay. Let's do. We want. I want to open up the front part of the body in a stretch. But of course, before we stretch, I'm gonna have you. Strengthen a little bit. Of course. So now we're gonna we're gonna push our chair in so it's tucked into our desk. Good. And you're gonna hold on to the chair. For dear life. Got it. Right. Make sure it's not on wheels and it can go somewhere. I don't want someone falling. <laughs> yes, no office chairs should be hurt in the making of this Facebook Live video. And um, let's do a lunch. We're gonna bring one foot forward. I can't Hi Robert. It. Entirely. Robert Underwood just said that they're here with us. They're feeling the burn. Yay! Yes, get it there, so Robert. So hold on to your chair. We're just going to do lunges here. Lunging here. So bringing one knee down towards the ground. Just lunging, said no one ever. <laughs> and then let's stand up. And let's actually, let's go back down. Let's, we'll do the stretch now. I'll let you guys have the stretch. Oh, so we're going to go into an Eve, what we call an Eve's lunge stretch that we do almost every class on the reformer, which is like my favorite because I sit so much and I'm so flexed. So this helps open up the whole front side of your body. You should do these every day when you get up from your desk. So just hold that. Make sure your hips are square so they're pointing forward as you kind of go into that stretch. You can raise up the same hand as your leg that is back. Do a slight extension in your thoracic spine, and then you can kind of feel that opening even more all alongside here. Yeah. Doesn't that feel so good? It really does. Especially with the wind blowing in your head. (laughs) Yes, that. (laughs) If you see my curtain moving, it's not wind, it's my kittens playing with the curtain. That's what's happening. And then let's um, stand up. I want your front leg now to be straight. And I want you to rock back on your heel to get a stretch now along the side, the back of your body. And don't collapse into it. Oh, I'm losing my balance. Just hinge forward into it. Yes, Karen's forehead is that big. (laughs) And then bring it up. Now we got to lunge on the other side to make sure we're even. So bring your other leg out in front of you, a slight bend in your knee, and then your other leg straight out and back. Hips are square, chest is square, and you're just going to bend and lift. Don't forget to use your breath here to help you. So I do like inhale down, exhale as I push up. That sounds way more coordinated, yes. <laughs> but the breath can go any way you want as long as you keep breathing. Oompa, loompa, <laughs> long not be do. We are doing lunges like it's a thing to do. <laughs> Thank you. All right, now let's hold that stretch. Oh, feel that stretch. Feel that opening on this front side of your body that you had flexed um, all day. Now we want to reverse that action and feel that opening. And your leg that's your other leg should be shaking a little bit because it's still working. Yeah. <laughs> Holding you up, right? No such thing as a free lunge. Right. <laughs> On the reformer, it's kind of more free because there's a little bit more support there. And then stand up nice and tall. And then since we're here and I love planks, let's do a few planks with the chair. You always say I love planks. I told you one time, like, let's do a plank. (laughs) My kids will be like, this is such a great place to plank, Mom. You should plank here. Like, yeah, you're right. There you go. (laughs) Support crew. 
All right, like I said, make sure your chair isn't moving. But all these things you can do, these exercises are just simple things you could do real quick at your desk without even getting your mat out. So find your plank. The closer your feet are to the chair, the little bit easier it is. The farther out they are, the little bit harder it is. So pick where you are today because it changes daily and that's totally okay. <laughs> now make sure your shoulders are down. Those shoulder blades slide down your back. Mm -hmm. We're engaging our core with a slight posterior tilt in our pelvis. The heel, the energy of your heels is shooting back. The energy of your head is shooting forward. Just this right here, you should feel it. Now, can we bend the elbows a little bit and then press back up? It just can be like a half inch and press back up. We might as well add some arm work while we're here. <laughs> Never one to just do one thing at a time. <laughs> and maybe you go down just a little bit lower on this last bend. And we press it back up. Hold that foot nice and strong. And just like we started, we're just going to do a nice big inhale. Nice big exhale. The breath is the only thing moving now in your body. Of course, you can be shaking a little bit. That's totally encouraged. Nice big inhale again. And exhale. And then walk your feet in. Woo! Shake wow. it out. Yes. <laughs> so good. So good. My blazer is getting so warm every time. I'm like, amazing how just like a couple minutes your body like wakes up. Yeah, I know. Up. It's amazing. I know. I know. And then another good thing to do too is just, oh, one of my favorites here before we do the next thing. Bring your arms out wide. I end a lot of classes like this. Mm. Do a slight extension here and just open up that chest. I am a hunter, like naturally. Mm. So this just feels so good on these muscles right here. Raise your arms up and then bring them back down. Maybe you go into a little bit more extension here. Oh. And then of course, do your neck stretches super gentle on your neck. Think of this arm shooting down your leg. Mm. So it's not just sitting here hanging out, it's working too. It's creating that energy down, creating that opposition as you pull your neck slightly to the other side. And then gently switch sides. This arm's gonna shoot right down my leg. Oh. It's like one of those stretches you don't think you need till you do it, right? I know, and then you're like, how have I turned my head all day? <laughs> now you're ready go yeah. all directions <laughs> yeah, i've seen some adorable hendrix babies running around are they also doing some of these activities oh yeah annabelle what's your favorite move hello what the plank yeah yeah you guys are animals <laughs> favorite thing is the plank you're a hoss annabelle are you going to demonstrate? Should we do a plank real quick? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we might as well. And this will check out a long month bingo thing too, which is awesome. So get Ooh. off your chair, come to a plank, and you can check it off oh. your bingo. We're going right. down. We're going down. All and right. for any of you that have in the world. Home, like I have three at home, um, there's so many partners, like, Anything exercise-wise that you do, you can always add in a friend, add in, um, especially a daughter is even better, and um, just add a little bit more fun to it. So we're going to go up in a side plank, and then we're going to high five, and then oh, down. Wow. It's totally okay to fall. This is called practice, not perfection. <laughs> oh. And then another one of Annabelle's favorites that we love to do. This is another one of our family favorites that you may have seen. Oh, thanks. Get on there, Cinderella. So just a lot of fun ways to play. Even with the squats, you can hold hands together and kind of go down in a nice wide frog squat, open up those hips, give each other silly faces, high fives. <laughs> And all different sorts of things. We just like to make awesome. things up and make sure exercise is just part of our play as well. 
I think uh, Teresa was just super impressed that Annabelle just planked on you. Hopefully you were able to see it. <laughs> oh yeah, we saw it, it was awesome. Yay. That was awesome. So yes, you can, if anyone just did that with us, you can go to the Longmont Strong Bingo on Club Hawaii's Facebook page. There's a bunch of other businesses on there. Um, I have personally ticked off probably too many boxes about fast takeout food. Um, <laughs> not enough planks. Yeah. <laughs> so get that um, Longmont Strong Bingo, which has just been extended, right, Kelly? Yes. Yeah, so with the stay at home order being extended, all of us businesses um, still need the strength of the community coming together. Um, and all of us supporting each other. And I know it may seem silly just to post a picture of like a plank that you're doing in your backyard for Club Pilates, for example, but it helps us tremendously and it just gives us the strength um, to kind of keep going and come back even stronger. So all I know all these, there's 20 businesses on this. This of course is an all inclusive to all the amazing businesses within Longmont because I love every single one of them, but it's really helped me get me going to be like, okay, who else can I go support now? And what can I do to help our amazing community that we all know and love so much? So yeah, that's, that's <laughs> awesome. And I think it is, it's just a good reminder, like for you guys as owners that when you see a customer or someone that you didn't know was a, a fan or someone interested in taking Pilates right. or just in the community, just a friendly little, Hey, we're here we're we support you. Um, cause that is going to be how we all get through this. So right, right. That's a good it, way to stay mindful. Right. It's yeah. And everyone, even though, you know, we're all in a difficult position now, which is having to be closed for so long. Um, every mm -hmm. one of those businesses is still offered a prize for you to win. Um, so play because there's so many amazing prizes and gift certs and things to all those amazing businesses. So I want to be able to give it away. So give it away. Uh, Okay. And those are all the events on your guys' Facebook page. The title image is actually the bingo card, so people can just click it. They can keep it electronic. They can print it out if they want. A great activity for the family. Have people initiate what activity they want to do. You guys have been busy with your list. <laughs> yeah, I love it because my kids help me. They're like, Mom, we got to write a poem today for Long's Peak. Or can we go to Hefe's? we got to check that off. Um, or awesome. like, yeah, Mom, do you need to go get beer? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> Yes, you know it's a good day when the youngsters are initiating you to go support a local craft brewery. You know, there are worse things. Right. So, um, yeah, so definitely we. I just love Longmont so much. I love our members. Like all their texts and emails through all of this have just helped me rise up and and we will all get through this together because it is a together thing. It's not a separate thing, even though we are separate, but we're yeah. getting stronger together, so. Absolutely. Well, I think you guys are doing a really awesome job. We can't wait for the date when gyms can reopen. We know that things are, are changing. We've got some new retail businesses are able to open as of today and the chamber has updates that we're trying to help facilitate for the business owners as we navigate through this. And this and Long Ma is Open event has just been with some of these Facebook live events. So thank you, Kelly, for doing yes, the first and, one. I wanna say like a shout out to the chamber too. You guys have been amazing in helping support the community. And you know, that is just, as a small business owner, it's so, it's so impactful. So thank you so much. And I oh, can't wait to plank with everyone again in the studio in person. Yes. I'll try not to run up and hug you. Um, I mean, I know, it's going to be hard. <laughs> Those be hard. are going to be there. We're all just going to be like, yeah. I know. <laughs> Um, so great. So thank you for everyone who joined us today. If you're interested in working out with Kelly again, she has a lot of videos on Club Pilates Facebook page. I did one. I know you're like, this is why you love planks, Karen. I did the ab one the other day. It's 15 minutes. Felt like 50. No, it didn't. It was just really good. Very efficient. Um, so check those out. And tomorrow we have Tuesday Tunes and Art, the second um, edition of the Longmont Spirit Week here for Longmont is open. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. You can see all of the chamber member businesses that fall into Mindfulness Monday, um, along with Club Pilates at the longmontchamber.org forward slash Longmont is open. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Now get outside, go do some planks, um, and we will see you next time. Bye. So fun. Weep, weep, weep.